Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today we're gonna be talking about the stupidity of the character that is Sojourn. Alright, so Sojourn's abilities, for those of you a little bit more curious, are that her left click is almost like Soldier's Fire, but as a little projectile, you can see when I kind of look away, kind of fires a little bit longer. They're pretty fast projectiles, but they are projectiles nonetheless, and they have like a random spread to them, I believe. Right, if I aim like here, right, sometimes it won't headshot, whatever. You can see that charges up a railgun, which said railgun charge. If you don't treat railgun for a bit, it'll go down. As of a recent patch, though, it stops at 25 permanently, which means you can do this to a tracer, do about 100 damage just at any moment, as long as you did damage at some point. Uh, previously, you had to manage that. She has a little E thing that's like a little area of denial bubble thing where she can shoot it out, and she has her really, really interesting uh, mobility in her slide where she can slide in midair, she can slide on the ground, and then do like a little super jump after the fact. It's her main mobility option. But basically 90% of your gameplay on Sojourn revolves around shooting the enemy tank to get your railgun, and using your railgun and the fact that it does 195 on a headshot to basically one-tap the opponents, right? You shoot the tank because he's not going to die to your railgun or anything. I mean, you could still actually shoot him with the railgun if you can't find a suitable target. But you shoot the tank like this, right? You get your real gun, you're like, boom, there you go, soldier. And then, even if you hit a body shot, it's something like 100 damage, and it, it is hit scan, I believe, while also actually having an interesting mechanic where the more charge you have, the bigger hitbox it has. Uh, so I think it's a projectile that's so fast that might as well be hit scan. I think it's it's almost like Alari's thing, where it's basically just hit scan, but it has properties of projectiles. You can see that's the slide right there. It's on a 7 second cooldown. That's not the problem with this character. This little E thing just does damage in a certain area. It's a little area denial tool that you can kind of spam out. That's not my problem with the character, although the slide definitely has some ridiculous things it can do. A lot of Doomfist there recently. My problem is mainly that, especially with a Mercy Pocket, 195 to the head is a crazy amount of damage for a character to be doing. Uh, and it's notable with Nojorn. You can see that that's me shooting this Bastion's body. I did not hit a headshot there. And I still did some pretty sizable damage. I don't really play a lot of Sojourn, so I'm not going to hit a lot of shots. My aim in the first place ain't really all that good. But you can see... I, I can use my slide to get out of stuff. Got another thing charging up. And if you have a Mercy especially, a lot of the thresholds to sign with this character just go away. You can see that Life Weaver died pretty fast, right? I just got charged up a bunch of different random things. You could also get it off of barriers, pedals, whatever. As long as it's something the enemy put down that you can damage, you can get charge off of it. Uh, and, and with good aim, this character is just ridiculous, <laughs> you know? 195 is unboosted, so if they have a Discord Orb, 195 becomes 200-something and you can one-tap people. The right-click on its own is already pretty much as good as Soldier stuff, and you give up Soldier's, like, slightly better mobility, uh, and also his little self-healing pad for this Area of the Nile thing that can't be deflected outside of, you know, like, once it's on the ground, it's active, it can't really be deflected. Uh, for that, and a Railgun... And your ult is just multiple real gun shots, which, you know, if you're not stupid like me right there and just kind of use it randomly, you can really abuse. And if your supports are pocketing you and stuff, and if you have a mercy pocketing you, for example, you can just tear through entire teams with that. Uh, with window, every single one of those shots is a one shot that goes for any real gun shot, but it's especially notable during your ults on Sojourn. You can see that Bastion's like two health. If that's any other DPS, he's dead. Right. But to be fair, also beats any other DPS, he's way harder to hit. Um, but yeah, I mean, Sojourn has been the meta, you know, DPS in top 500, you know, high GM for a long, long, long time now. Uh, mainly because of her decent mobility, area of denial, uh, and also, you know, the way she can just tear through teams with the real gun. Because, like I said, once your aim's a bit better, it really goes crazy. I haven't even hit a headshot on any of these guys. This is all just the body shot damage, which is 100 something. And if it had no ability to headshot, honestly, interesting character design, right? You got like some downtime where you kind of spam stuff out with your projectiles, and then you have your uptime when you have railgun, and you can use that to damage people for a good amount with like a, a hit scan thing. But right? it's a very quick burst to kind of end someone's life, right? So you, you just poke them down with this, you do like 100 damage, and then once you've done your 100 damage, you can use the left click to kind of finish them. Uh, it also can hit collaterals, I think always, but 
if not always, uh, at least when it's on high charge. I know for a fact it can hit collaterals. I've seen clips of it, so I, I know that that's the case. I'm not going to give the best showcase of why this character is busted and why she's been picked in the highest E-list for a long time. But honestly, it's it's not that bad. The only problem I have with Sojourn, and most people have with Sojourn, is the 195 damage headshot. Because most characters have 200 health, Sojourn herself was 200 health. Meaning if you have a whole, uh, full charge, which is really easy to get off of tanks that aren't super mobile like Doom, you know, if you're shooting to like a Winston or Reinhardt shield or something, or even the Slight Reaver pedal here, uh, you, can, you can see him actually getting charged from that. It's actually pretty reasonably easy to get to 100 charge. And then, you know, if I, for example, headshot that Life Weaver there, he's just fucked. And then there's nothing you can do about it. Because your, your right-click pellets do easily 5 damage. So if you're right-clicking the same guy that you're shooting with the railgun, you can do the full 200 yourself in a fraction of a second. If you have a Mercy damage boosting you, you will do 200 to headshot, meaning you can actually one-shot people, which is also ridiculous. Um... Just a lot, of, a lot of thresholds with this character that get broken because of her damage numbers, which aren't great. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Aim challenge, very hard. I guess this Doom... <laughs> they ain't doing all that much either, so kind of bounce out. Yeah, see right there. I could even shoot the tree to get some charge. They at least did a patch a while back where off of like trees and turrets and stuff, you get a little bit less charge. And to be fair, if you're not always hitting your shots, this character has you know less value. But uh, people in high ranks will hit their shots, so that's just to be expected. So. I don't know. You can see right there, Shot Doom got charged up and killed Sombra with it. Right there, the Area of Denial thing is just like free damage as well a lot of the time. Just can be abused that way. But you can see, yeah, like I'm, I'm not playing too crazy good. I'm not doing anything insane, but killing a lot of things. <laughs> Alright, seven charge shot kills, six final blows. Every single final blow is your burst option, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, I think on body shot having this thing kill, it's a lot more reasonable, because then it does like 100 something, maybe like 110. I don't actually know the exact number. I don't think anyone really does outside the Sojourn players, maybe themselves. Because you kind of just get a feel for it, I don't know the exact numbers. But it does about half. It's like 100, 110, 105, something like that, which is actually a reasonable number. The problem is when she headshots people, it's, it's a one-tap, right? Someone discorded, someone uh, that you're shooting at while you have a mercy pocket on you. Something like that, or just, you know, Window itself, but that's more of a problem with Window. Like, every everything I talk about that comes with Window is more of a problem with the, you know, the craziness that is Bap's Window. And not really a problem with the characters or anything like that. Or at least it shouldn't be viewed that way, even if it is kind of true. And you hold your charge for a decent amount of time. Like, I mean, even though you can hold 25 guaranteed, you generally want to shoot stuff while you have high charge. And just damaging anyone, getting any type of charge, I think, can let you hold your charge up to 8 seconds or something. Like, a pretty solid amount of the time. Uh, but yeah. Overall, pretty fun to play character. Not too awful to play into as long as she's not hitting heads. But with a Mercy Pocket, while you're hitting heads, it's it's a nightmare facing Sojourn. And, like I said, she was already meta, and then she got this, this little change that she has now, where she can hold 25 charge. It might not seem that big, but like I said, right, that's 100 damage to the head at any moment. Just for having shot someone at some point during the match, right? I could go here as we're about to lose point. I can just shoot, like, you know, out into the open here and get my 25 charge this way. All right. Your slide's like a double-edged tool, though. It lets you engage and disengage and get to cool locations. It's all actually pretty nice. I'm not... And I don't have a problem with that. I do have a problem with how it can let you slide back up on the map when you get booped off in like a super jank and unnatural way. But no, there's not really much to say about that. Like overall, that I, I think there's one actually pretty decent design. Right, having a character that has like oak in general and a kind of burst finisher. Right, she's not like a one-shot character outside of that headshot thing. It's cool, honestly. Like. Super unproblematic. I do not play Sojourn, by the way. I'm not being, like, paid to say this. And I did hate Sojourn in the past. 
way back on like launch or whatever, I think she did like 140 to body, which with Mercy pocketing you meant you did like 170 to body shot. And that was ridiculous. And at least now you have to hit a headshot, which at least requires a lot more skill when it comes to aiming or whatever. Uh, but even then, like it's. Yeah. It feels pretty good to hit shots. Whenever you die to a Sojourn who doesn't have a Mercy Pocket, it feels completely fine. Even the 195 headshots feel pretty justifiable. The problem is Mercy is just a character in the game, and anytime a DPS threshold gets broken by her, people are just going to run Mercy with something. And I, I think a simple fix to all this is, is maybe make headshots do 150 and make body shots do 100. I think that's a reasonable damage number. And then with Mercy, you get like 180 or something, right? You get like a pretty reasonable damage number. Uh, there's nothing... Uh, too bad going on there. Also, a little tech with her for those of you who didn't know, where if you jump and then slide, you actually get more height than if you just slide. Uh, you can use that to make certain jumps that you can't make otherwise. I think I was just too close there. But you can see right there, right, you can make it up to here. I think you can make it up to here normally, but it's normally not as easy. Like, I had a lot of, of room still to make it up here. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on Sojourn. I think decent character design. I don't have really a lot of problems with her railgun uh, or anything like that. What I do have a problem with is giving her a one-shot in any capacity, especially in the form of the, uh, the headshot. Just one shot from full health. It's generally viewed as a problem with a lot of characters, and they've been changed because they've been given one-shots. So, you know, having a character in the game who can charge multiple one-shots a fight, and with an ult basically can get like, you know, six, seven different one-shots as long as she hits her shots. It's kind of ridiculous. We're for no real drawback. Like, Widow got given 175 health purely because the ability to headshot people, even while having to charge her shots by kind of standing still and scoping in, was a little bit too ridiculous. It was, it was a bit too much to have on a character. And the devs realized that, and they, they nerfed Widow's health, and even then, people still will complain about her, and she can still completely dominate lobbies, because one-shots are just crazy like that. I'm not suggesting they change Widow, by the way, that'll be his own video. But what I am talking about is that Sojourn, you know, basically being an alternate form of soldier that's more projectile poke rather than, I don't know, kind of hits like hit scan sustained, you know, annoyance, I guess. It is technically poke in a way what soldier's doing, but it's more just kind of that your whole goal with is generally to annoy people, not really just to poke. So it is a little bit different. And it looks like we're going to map three, I guess, I guess. When they had a lever, some people might seem got bored or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's like... I don't know. Because it is really easy to, like, shoot. Like, if there's an enemy Roadhog, you can just shoot at him non-stop across the map from 400 miles away, and you will always be at 100% charge the entire game. And with the Mercy Pocket, not only do you damage that Roadhog more, not only do you get charged faster, but you also then, you know, have your one-shot rails to shoot the enemies with the entire game. And, uh, I mean, I've been carried by these Sojourns. I've been carried by these rank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Sojourns, right? If I go to the the current leaderboards, it's all gonna be Sojourned. Like, outside of, like, the Yazan doing his weird boosting shit, and even then, he's playing Sojourn as a secondary. Before Echo, you can see Sojourn, 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 Sojourn. There's, like, a few Tracers, a few Soldiers. A lot of Tracers, actually, because she got recently buffed, but look how many Sojourns. It's like all Sojourn, and it was already all Sojourn, and then they decided to buff this character this season because she was too used. I mean, I know the actual reason, it's that her win rate in low elo was actually a little bit too low for the devs to like. But, uh, uh but that, that's just not a way you balance your game. Also really unfortunate that I, I was, you know, tabbed out looking at shit. Tom was just waiting for me. But whatever. Yeah, happens. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the 2025, not the craziest buff in the world, but especially with how many tracers they're rolling around, having- Wow, well, there's someone up there. I just kind of meleeed because I didn't make it. But especially with all the tracers running around recently because she got buffs, like, having a, a 100 damage headshot just available to you while having your poke and your area of denial E and all that. Kinda nuts. And then, like I said, all this gets worse with the Mercy Pocket. It's not even necessarily a problem of Mercy being busted or Sojourn herself. It's mainly a problem of Sojourn herself being busted. 
Right, that Mercy right there, that's a perfect example. I just, I happened to hit the head that time, and Mercy, full health, gone. Instantly deleted. Right, I'm like a, like a close-range Widowmaker with 0% of the commitment that a Widow has, because I have good mobility. I have Soldier's Mobility with Widow's, like, one-shot. I don't even know if it has particularly bad damage fall-off either. Like, you could probably just snipe a Widow with it if you hit the head. Because, I mean, like I said, the damage is a lot more reasonable when it's not a headshot. Yeah. You can see like that. It's like, you, you charge up and shoot him, but those are body shots. That's It's more reasonable that way. I don't know. I don't play, like like I said, I don't play a lot of this here. A lot of people are going to think like, oh, this guy just named Sojourn and sucking her, sucking her fucking cock. But I don't play Sojourn. I can I can run you through the, what, the time played here. Where's Sojourn? Sojourn's at eight hours. That's the same time I've done D.Va and Sombra. People I actively don't play. Also close to my hours on life either, right? The, th the difference is, the only reason I don't play Sojourn is because I feel like she's super strong, but she is really fun to play. And I can see why all the DPS players would want to play her. She feels really satisfying. The design of the hero is inherently satisfying, right? You get rewarded for I know, decent positioning with all your poking, and you can get away and get in using this massive mobility of slide. Uh, all the while having this little area of denial thing is somewhat useful. Honestly, the E, the e used to be a problem because it used to slow people, and that was just ridiculous. That was a big part of you know, launch shows runs issues as well. Um, but basically, you can just jump around and shoot people. And that's what you want to do on DPS, and that's that's what Sojourn does. They're like in a satisfying way. Railguns make a satisfying noise, feel really satisfying to hit. Like I say, unless you're getting headshot by them or she's got a pocket mercy, that you don't even feel that bad to play into either, right? Like, getting killed by a Sojourn Rail feels about the same as just getting shot by a McCree. It, it's, it's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah. That's kind of my thoughts on Surge. Overall, decent hero. Just has one little mechanic or number that has to be tweaked. The headshot multiplier, 195. Too high. That's a too big of a number. If Mercy didn't exist, 195 would probably be the tiniest bit too high. But something like 185 without Mercy in the picture. Actually a semi-reasonable number for getting full charge. Because I didn't also mention this, but you can see when a Sojourn has charge, like she'll glow. I don't know if we can see it in this play or something, but I can just, you know, I can pull us into a, a spectator thing. You just want to see that. Um, Alright, go to history and just, just go spectate real quick. Alright, if you go here, for example, you'll see, like, whenever I had charge on my railgun, you'll see me glowing. The enemies can see you glowing. You actually have something to, like, respond to, and because it goes away over time, it's actually semi-reasonable to respond to. But you can see it's glowing blue, it's glowing blue, you can see it's shining blue, and the more charge you have, the more blue it shines. When you go and pop ult, it's, like, super glowing. Uh, let's see if I can go to... Did I get a second ult in the round? It did. Yeah. So as up here, you can see when I when I pop my ult here in a sec, you'll see my gun just glows blue. It's really notable. If their feedback wasn't there, I guess it glows red or not. You can see really notably blue whenever I have like the full charge. So you know to avoid it. And it and it is a single skill shot. If you miss it, it's gone. And you have to charge a whole new one, which takes time. Versus McCree does a little bit less damage to body, but he just has his shots consecutively available back to back to back, and that doesn't feel too bad either. It's it's a, it's actually an interesting hero design to have someone that can like both poke you out and then when you get low enough can they hit the finishing blow. Right, Sojourn is the master, like the specialist of having finishing blows. The railgun is perfect for that. And I think that's a it's a really good character design to have that. The problem is the finishing blow should not be on full health, if that wasn't obvious enough. That's pretty much all I've said this entire video, and that's all I'm gonna continue to say. The finishing blow should not be when they're on full health. Right, I, I left click and I right click the body once, and they're dead. Right, that's the problem. And then if I have a mercy pocket, it's one left click and they're just dead. That is the problem I have with Sojourn. That's the problem a lot of people have with characters like Hanzo and Widowmaker and stuff. Is that one shot? It's just it doesn't feel great. And with Sojourn being as mobile as she is, I think you can even get up there if you just do like the jump and slide. You can almost get up there. You can get really far away if you let your slide kind of roll for a bit. 
you have this little area of denial thing to like kind of poke people down a little bit further. So if you missed your five damage, you know, right click and they get around the corner, you can actually shoot it at the corner and it'll go around it and finish them for you. Uh, obviously the ults, you know, having multiple 195s that you can like quickly spam out is insane. You know, right here in my one ult, I killed five and that's without a mercy pocket. Basically killed six. I still had charge for a six shot there. I killed six without a mercy pocket. Without that extra damage that you get granted for that. Uh, and, and every Sojourn has a Mercy Pocket. Every single Sojourn, all the way across Top 500, will have a Mercy Pocket at the moment. Because having a character combo, like Sojourn Mercy, where not only will your real gun charge faster, I think, uh, maybe this patch just went out, but at least for a while, you would actually charge your meter faster by having a Mercy because you were doing more damage, and therefore charge more. Uh, but also turning your almost one-shot into a one-shot is insane. Like I said, right, body shots actually pretty reasonable amount of damage, right? Like like this guy's got 200 health. I shoot his body. You can see it does like I don't know, uh, maybe maybe there's a little bit too much. That seems a little bit high if this guy actually is 200. Maybe tone down the body shots to like 120 and make the headshots like 150 or something, or make the body shots 100 and then headshots 150. And you can give her more damage on her E if that's what you need to kind of justify that change. But I think it does a decent amount of damage. It can actually completely kill someone without you shooting them. That's that's high enough, I feel. Uh, the, the problem with Sojourn is literally just that she can, she can one-shot people with low commitment, right? You, you one-shot someone here. Let's say this is a Roadhog, right? You could be miles, miles away. You could be way back here and just, like, shoot him for, like, a second. And I'm 100 charge. And now I can do this to, like, one of his teammates. And they're, they're dead. Generally, don't even do that. What you actually do is you, you get again, shoot that Roadhog from 30 miles away, damage him for a bit. He's not going to die, but what you're going to do is you're going to do this, and now the, the teammate's dead. And that's the problem. Right, that's, the, that's the design of the character, and I think it's okay. I just think the numbers on the rail are a bit too high and need to be toned down a tiny bit to make it a bit more fair and a bit more in line with the other DPS characters. But everything outside of that, like the, the slide feels super good, Right, the, the little E things to help kind of finish people and also light people up, also pretty good. I will say it feels weird how the slide interacts with like slopes, because you can actually go up slopes a lot of the time. I can't really show it off here, but just look up like, you know, Sojourn. I, I don't know what you could look up, but there's a lot of clips of Sojourns getting booped off the map and sliding up like entire ramps. You know, there's like a certain spot in Dorado where you can literally just go like this and like slide up. You can see I did it right there. I slided up that entire thing, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. And I think that's one of those interactions where, I don't know, maybe they should think about redoing that one a little bit or not making it as simple, make it a little bit more finicky or something. Uh, either way, that's that. Hope you all enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.